So what I want to do is just do this first one as a worked example between us. So it says here, name the longest carbon chain and determine the direction of the root chain. I know that can be difficult to relate to. So first of all, let's figure out what the longest carbon chain is. Go ahead and think about it for a second, and then I'll get back to me. All right, so there are actually a few different longest chains, all right? Um, for example, I could have had um, this be one of the chains. That would be how many carbons? That looks like it's going to be seven carbons. Are you guys cool with that? But I could have also had this be one of my longest chains. Do you agree? That one would also be seven carbons. Oops. So what I'm doing right here is I'm actually still going through rule number one. I haven't even gotten to two yet. Two is direction. One is just which chain is going to be the longest one or is, is going to be my root chain. So what do you guys think? The green area means that that's going to be the chain no matter what. But should I go to the yellow? Go, should I go up or should I go down to the blue? There is actually a rule to determine this. I said if there's a tie between two different ways that you can make uh, a chain, a longest chain, how do you determine which one is the winner? The way you determine is by the one that gives you the most substituents. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to erase both of these, or I want to erase one, and we're going to see how many substituents each one gives. So if I have the yellow chain, how many substituents do I have total? I have just one substituent. Remember that a substituent just means a branch. So I just have one thing that's not on the yellow. Does that make sense? One thing branching off, so I'd call that one. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to erase the yellow and I'm going to draw the blue. So now if I have the blue chain, how many substituents do I get? Well, I'm going to erase the, the red just in case you guys are confused. So for the blue chain, how many things do I have sticking off of the blue chain? Actually two. I have something here and I have something there. Okay. And what that means is that one of these is going to give me more substituents and it's going to be the blue. So this is actually my longest carbon chain right here. So my root is going to be heptane, and it's going to be that particular heptane. Cool? So now all we have to do is determine the direction. Direction means simply, is this going to be the first carbon, or is this going to be the first carbon? Let me use different colors. So is the blue going to be my first carbon, or is the red going to be my first carbon? Do you guys, so now we're on to rule number two. So do you guys remember how to decide that? What we would do is we would go start from the closest substituent, okay? And the closest substituent, if I go to blue, I would have to go to two, three, four, five. My first substituent starts at five if I start numbering from the blue direction, okay? So five is the number to beat. Now, if I start numbering from the red direction, I get to two and I already have a substituent. Do you see that? So I get to two, the second carbon, I already have a branch coming off. So which of these is going to give me the lower number? Which of them is going to be the one that gives me the direction? And it's going to be red. So I'm going to erase the blue. The blue is wrong. And what that means is that this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Later on, when I have to name this molecule, which we're not going to do yet, we're not there yet, but later on when we have to name this, this is going to help me because now I'm going to have substituents at the 2 and at the 3. And that is way better than having substituents at the 5 and at the 6, which would have been the blue direction. Does that make sense? So the direction was this way, and that is the end of the question. Okay? So you guys did an awesome job. Now what I want to do is I want you guys to do this one on your own. So go ahead and try to do the entire thing and then go to the next video when you're done.